Hey everybody, Tony D, uh, Little Jones asleep on the couch, uh, but I'm here to tell you a screenwriter's rant about Prisoners of Ghostland from Nicolas Cage. Uh, so smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my books. The links are in the description. They're all sold at Amazon.com. Kindle Unlimited is free. Support the channel, get a book, and uh, let's get into it. Um, so the basic plot is this and this is a weird world full of like cowboys and kabuki and um, the basic premise is this rich dude hot, uh, makes Nicolas Cage stra uh, 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 breaks him out of jail I guess and uh, he's got a bunch of cowboys on his employee and he says um, here's a leather outfit you're going to wear it it's strapped with explosives uh, find my daughter in five days or I'll blow you up so of course Nicolas Cage looking very bearded uh, agrees from the uh, studio that brought you Mandy and Color Out of Space. Joan, are you in here? Come on. Come here. Come here. All right. Go in your little house. Then. Go ahead. Go in your house so people can see it. Go ahead. Get in your bag. Get in. Yeah. Uh, you never listen to me, Joan. Anyhow, uh, Nicolas Cage uh, does the Nicolas Cage thing. He drives cars, he shoots people, he says crazy things, he does crazy things, he hurts himself, seemingly. There's the daughter he's got to bring back. And they uh, bill it as a total gonzo cinematic experience. I would expect nothing less from Nicolas Cage. And uh, I'm down for this. This is my kind of movie. Sounds exciting. Sounds like it'll be fun and entertaining. Uh, looks, looks entertaining. Looks like there's going to be lots of action and weird stuff. Uh, you know, I saw Mandy. It was okay. You know, it didn't totally come together. A lot of these movies don't end well. They just kind of, like, peter out after all the action's done. But this looks like it could be fun. I mean, here he is in a football helmet fighting a guy with a shotgun and fighting samurai. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Sign me up. Uh, so, and there's a mushroom cloud, so I guess they set off a bomb. I mean, who knows? Who knows what the hell goes on with this movie, but uh, it's Nicolas Cage and guns and craziness and samurai, prisoners of Ghostland. Uh, so the first act is going to be Nicolas Cage getting let out of his cage and the guy in a white suit saying, setting the whole thing up, saying, you gotta save my daughter, I've strapped these explosives onto you, you're gonna do it, and then, you know, maybe I free you after that in gratitude got to bring my daughter back alive it's nearly impossible because he has to go into the ghost land and nobody nobody ever escapes there so he goes like you know uh kurt russell in escape from new york and then he runs into so many problems he gets captured he, he has to break out in the second act it goes back and forth he finds the girl but it, you know it just gets worse and worse and worse and then finally in the third act he has to fight probably the main bad guy and the guy in the white hat in order to truly escape and he does uh <laughs> or he sacrifices himself to save the girl who he's become attached to screenplay by aaron hendry and reza sixo safe uh, directed by sion sona um it looks cool is it cool i don't know I don't know these guys. I mean, I did like Mandy. It wasn't great. Uh, it it kind of falls apart at the end, but it has some cool, cool things in it. So uh, I I think this could be fun. This could be a lot of fun. Um. So yeah, it's called Prisoners of Ghostland, and I assume it comes out. This would be a good summer movie, but uh, comes out soon, probably in the winter, since it's being advertised now. Uh, winter, fall, fall, winter. Uh, so look for it. And that's it for me, Tony D. And we'll see you in the next one.